Now as you can see this lumber is coming from this area and this area the fence line is a couple feet away from where this wood is. Now they claim this is all their property that they're taking the wood off and as you can see the wood is coming out through this area right here. Now this is supposed to be their property right here that I'm turning around to. Um, I don't know if it's five or ten acres or five acres of land but five acres of land got this multitude. Now here is the five acres of land or whatever the acreage is and they've been cutting lumber 25 years now they've been cutting lumber. Now you think of the volume of lumber that has passed through this area over the years. Okay? Just think about what I'm saying. 24 years I've been a witness to them cutting. Leslie, Moncrief Leslie and his comrades as they call themselves. Mandela and his comrade. Carl Mani Leslie and his comrades. You know what I mean? This is the type of people that's involved in politics and are trying to destroy Jamaica in a sense with their behavior, criminal behavior of deforestation on a mass scale. Now this is someone who is supposed to be educated, somewhat affiliated with certain people in high position. He's a member of the, I don't know if he's a member of the Cornwall College Old Boys Association or whatever it is. Now, I'm looking at a fence line right here. And if I'm not mistaken, that's just for the pasture, they're gonna say. Okay, but it's not. Okay. This, there's a line just top side of it, just top side of this line where the property line is. Now they bring in this wood from here and above the mountain. Here goes another load of wood on this section right here. As you can see, on a bright Sunday afternoon. Now look at the size of these lumbers. They're not even fully grown trees. They're not even good enough for sure. Two by four. Now, that's the road that they have cut into the wooded area to bring down the wood. And here it is again, another load. These are just big enough to be shores, if they're not. Now this is the main road, and this road goes all the way over the mountain. And it is saturated with wood of this size, as you can see, killing the forest. All the hardwood that's in the forest, nothing is left right now. It's what they're killing themselves for. Two dollars and look at the damage that they have done. This is where all the water is running and flooding out my property as I speak. Now this has a lot to do with the location that I'm in. I'm on the opposite side of that fence line over there as you can see. Okay, and this is on a regular basis. For the last two years, wood has been coming through this area right here that I'm looking at right now two years. In fact, I think they're down to nothing now. The other woods that they're trying to get is too far deep, so they will have to find another route to take out the wood. Here in Golden Grove, next to Content, Copperwood, I mean, Copperwood and uh, what's the name of the place? Okay, that's what they call it. They say Mac Michael Manley gave them that piece of land, Cocoon, Cocoon Reservoir a cocoon watershed. Now this is the same man that was down there fighting like hell for the water, for the water table down by where the cemetery was supposed to be. And this is what he's doing at this moment. I'll take a break and we'll go to another area that the lumber is coming through and document that 